Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Night Phase here with the Star Wars. That's right, The Last Jedi Target exclusive Digibook unboxing. We're just gonna get right into it. I'll try to keep this under five minutes. So, yeah, I'm excited about this release. And let me just clear the air here because I know this is probably one of the most polarizing and divisive films since BVS. But I don't agree with it. I think this movie is fantastic. You know, you think it's terrible, whatever. Think about it this way. We had the prequel, so just keep that in mind, you know. Yeah, sure, I would have liked to see Luke battle Kylo. That would have been sweet. Instead of, like, you know, the Mirage or whatever that we got. Or, you know, maybe Admiral Akbar crashing into light speed would have been more awesome. You know, this... There's a lot of things I can say that would have made the the movie better, in my opinion, that I would have liked to seen. But if they did that, then I wouldn't be surprised. And this movie surprised the hell out of me. There's a lot of um, uh, story storytelling choices that they took here, and I dug it. I think it paid off, and it was refreshing to see, you know, so this franchise go in a bold new direction. But anyway. Enough of that. You're not here for that, I know. <laughs> here it is. I love the cover, by the way. I love this cover art. It's so nice. Um, there's the back. Nice shot of BB-8. That's pretty cool. Was not expecting him to be in the back. But, um, all right, let's just open this up. See what we got. Nice. We got Ray there. Looking like a badass. All in red. Wow, I really like that. Look at that. Beautiful. And Kylo in red as well. What's it called? The uh, Praetorian Guards? They, they were in their colors. It's pretty cool. We open this up. We get a nice shot of Leia and Luke all in red. You know, that's the color scheme of this film. And, yeah, we open this up. And there you have it. You have, wow, four discs. What? Look at the discs. Wow, this is crazy. That's a whole lot of discs. <laughs> So, if we take these out, some interior artwork as well. So, I'm trying to take all these discs out. Bear with me. It's pretty cool. So, we take the main discs out and we get a shot of, sorry, uh, Poe. Poe Dameron right there. And we take the other ones out. But these are, oh, this, the other side is the DVD. Come on. This doesn't want to come out for some reason. Alright. So we get two DVDs. Well, that's strange. Interesting. Very interesting. We get a shot of uh, Finn. <laughs> it's ironic how they put him on the DVD side since his story wasn't the greatest here. That's one thing I do admit about Last Jedi. is Finn's story with Rose is probably the weakest part in my opinion. The most uninteresting part. Everything with Kylo, Rey, and Luke was amazing. That's probably the best parts of the movie. Come on, get in there. Oh, crap. I don't want to break this thing. Sounds flimsy. Eesh. We got a booklet here, which is pretty cool. I'm going to show you guys real quick. Put these discs back quick because we're about to hit that five-minute mark. Said I keep it under five minutes. So just go over the booklet here real quick. Nice, nice booklet you get. Pretty cool interior artwork and look at that concept art, I guess. I love that shot, by the way. Very reminiscent and a great callback to A New Hope. But uh, yeah, I, I really dug this edition. That is the Target Digibook. I like how it opens up like that. It's pretty cool. Pretty nice. I like the cover art too. So there you have it. This is the Target Edition Digibook. Reminds me of uh, the Coco release where it has a slip cover, which is interesting that they're doing the Digibooks like this now. There you have it. So yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you thought about The Last Jedi, <laughs> I guess. And um, yeah, are you going to get the Target Edition? Are you going to get the Steelbook? Comment down below and let me know. 
And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this unboxing, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I'll catch you in the next one.